Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. Last year at the beach, I picked up some seashells that had the holes worn in them at the tops. Anyway, I've been wanting to make just a really simple set of wind chimes. So what we're using is a jar lid from a pickle jar. It's not that big. It's actually about four inches across and you could use a larger lid if you wanted to. You might be able to, if you're really skilled, uh, add even more strands, but I'm using a really sharp awl, this one right here, and some waxed cord and trinkets and my seashells. And I kind of just launched into recording this morning. So I wanted to give you a little bit of detail about what I'm doing. I love the way these turned out. I absolutely love having these in the workshop. I wonder if this will go through one, um, but will this go through? Yes, oh my goodness, that was easy. Let's try to make, um, I want three holes. I know a lot of times people use fishing wire to make little chimes. I'm gonna use some of this Brazilian cord, waxed Brazilian cord. Now I need to grab three beads. Okay, I just grabbed three wooden beads. I know I'm probably not gonna use these in journal making. I don't use a lot of wooden beads, but we need something to hold the string in place. We're gonna need to be able to tie this at the top. We need something long enough to, to tie off at the top and to hang. And we've got, I had these shells that I picked up all because they have the holes worn in them. And I was thinking I had enough to do like if I sorted them by size, oh, one, no, there we go. Maybe do three strands and four on each strand and tie it at the top. I think that's gonna be long enough at the top. And then at the bottom, we have one, two, one, two, three, four and have some left over. So let's do three strands that length. I hope this uh, cord will hang okay. I think it will. Anyway, this is just a fun, just a fun project to use these shells that I found yesterday when I emptied out a container. And I try not to pick up too many shells at the beach. Uh, environmentalists have said that it's a problem because you're taking uh, the habitats away from certain creatures who use shells to live in and then you know it's just I mean it makes sense that if you keep taking something from a place where it belongs you're impacting the natural resources in that place so I didn't want to just throw these out or donate them or I want to use them and this would be a fun project to do with kids who are, of course, old enough. So to get everything to stay in place here, I'm gonna tie the cord around a bead. And I'm gonna try to do it in the same spot on each cord. There, and one more. There, that one went through easily. The other one was catching on a piece of wood inside the bead. Okay, not too bad. So this means, now maybe I can go ahead and tie this off at the top. I'm gonna try to get all the beads pretty much in the same spot. And then let's tie this at the top, all three cords. And then let's make this even. Okay, so that's gonna keep 
that's going to keep these from coming through. That's cute. But we need to do the same thing on the bottom. So let's put these out like this and let me grab three more beads. I want to see if these will work because they have a really shimmery, pretty blue color and looks like the beach. So I want to try to get this as tight as I can near the, uh, the actual lid, which means holding it close to the lid. And I know there's going to be a little bit of a little bit of wiggle room because it's impossible to get it, you know, just flush with the lid. And I'm just tying it around the bead. I'm not trying to do a knot big enough to not slip through because that's going to be impossible with this bead. And you could decorate the lid if you want to. I really don't have time to do that this morning. But I did want to uh, wake up a little bit and do something creative just to get started with the day. And I will be able to get this off of my desk. So let's just tie that. Oops. No, you need to go closer to the lid. Here we go. There. Here, that's cute. Now let's just tie. The first, we'll start with the smallest and get bigger as we look our way down. If you have something to hang your uh, project on, and you can see, so this is off a tiny bit just because under here, the beads are tied in a little bit different spots. But, you know, it's okay. We can, um, it, it really is okay. We can find a way to even this out, even if we have to untie this and adjust. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's um, keep tying the, uh, the little beads on, or the seashells. So if you make one of these, you can learn from my mistakes and maybe think about, I, I probably shouldn't have tied that um, string off at the top yet. And if I did it again, I would wait. I would, I would give myself more cord, I think, at the top. But you know, everything's fixable when you're working with stuff like this. At least that's my thought. And you could add pretty things in between the seashells if you wanted to, like more beads if you have sparkly beads. See, that's gonna be cute. Do we want to add something else? Yeah, there's ways that we can uh, level this out. Do we want to add something sparkly? Okay, I brought over a few shiny things. Um, I like the waxed cord because it will stay really straight. These beads are always a pain. Every time I buy something like this, after I buy it, I think, why did I get that? Oh, well. Maybe we can use some different things, kind of um, change it up. Now let's do the next biggest seashell. I like that. Let's put these three biggest ones at the bottom. And we need. So we're just kind of guesstimating where to tie these. I'm trying to get them spaced uh, pretty equally on each cord, but I'm not just totally stressing out about it. Uh, let's see, I think this one's next. Yeah, that one's only got one. I like it.
I really, really love the way these turned out, and I wanted to show you a few things I did to solve some problems. If you make some chimes, I would suggest leaving a lot more cord at the top than I did. That way you can tie a loop at the top to be able to put it onto an S-hook. Uh, to embellish around the pickle jar lid, I just used two layers of washi tape and that hides the name of uh, the pickles so that it doesn't look like a jar lid. And then on the inside, you could probably see I painted that with some sparkly nail polish, which is really pretty. Uh, to solve my problem at the top, I really did not leave enough cord. So I just took a piece of, a little piece of leather and sewed my short ends together. That was after untying it so that it would be level. Um, I don't really need the beads at the top to hold the things in place, I guess, but you definitely need the ones at the bottom so that the strings don't slip through. The ones at the top I like because they are decorative, and then I'm so glad I added little elements between the seashells. Every time I look at this, it reminds me of going to the beach with Jason and Michaela and Jacob and little Kendall and just having so much fun. And you know, the silver here, the sparkles, it just adds a little bit of bling that I think is really sweet. So I'm definitely glad that I did that. And I hope if you have some seashells with holes in them and a jar lid or something, you might try to make one of these little uh, wind chimes. I really like it a lot. It adds a lot of personality out here. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will be back really soon. Bye for now.